If you're experiencing pain and numbness in your legs, stop eating these foods. Have you ever experienced numbness in your legs while strolling through your garden, or perhaps even noticed signs of poor blood circulation in your lower limbs? It's a common issue that many people face, yet it often goes overlooked. According to recent statistics, approximately 12% of adults worldwide suffer from poor blood circulation, with numbers rising in certain demographics, such as those over the age of 50. Moreover, studies indicate that nearly 40% of individuals with diabetes experience circulation problems, further highlighting the prevalence of this issue. In our previous video, we delved into some fantastic foods that can enhance circulation, however, amidst the focus on beneficial foods, there are also certain items that can detrimentally impact blood flow, often disregarded by many. If you're experiencing discomfort and numbness in your legs, it may be time to reconsider your dietary choices. In this video, we'll explore some foods you should avoid for better circulation. Stay tuned until the end of the video to ensure you don't miss out on crucial information that could make a significant difference in your well-being. Let's get started. 1. White Bread and Products Made from White Flour White bread and products made from white flour are staples in many diets around the world, particularly in Western cultures like the United States. While these products are often enjoyed for their taste and versatility, they may have some hidden health consequences that are not widely known. One notable issue associated with consuming white bread and flour-based products is their potential to contribute to poor blood circulation, leading to pain and numbness in the legs. This connection may not be immediately obvious, but it stems from the refining process used to produce white flour. During the refining process, the outer layer of the wheat grain, which contains the majority of the fiber and nutrients, is removed, leaving behind primarily the starchy endosperm. As a result, white flour lacks the fiber and essential nutrients found in whole grains. These nutrients, particularly fiber, play a crucial role in supporting cardiovascular health and maintaining proper blood flow throughout the body. Without an adequate intake of fiber and nutrients, individuals who consume white bread and flour-based products may experience issues such as reduced blood flow to the legs, which can manifest as pain and numbness. This is because fiber helps regulate blood sugar levels and cholesterol, which are important factors in maintaining healthy blood vessels and circulation. For example, Consider the nutritional content of one serving, typically one slice, of whole wheat bread compared to white bread. Whole wheat bread typically contains around 3 to 4 grams of fiber per serving, while white bread may contain only 1 gram or less. This significant difference in fiber content highlights how choosing whole grain options over refined white flour products can contribute to better overall health, including improved blood circulation and reduced risk of leg pain and numbness. Moving on to sweet treats like pastries and candy, have you ever wondered if these indulgent delights could be contributing to the pain and numbness in your legs? 2. Sweet treats like pastries and candy Sweet treats like pastries and candy are often indulged in for their delightful taste and comforting sweetness. However, what many may not realize is that the excessive consumption of these sugary delights can have adverse effects on one's health, particularly in relation to blood circulation. The main culprit behind this issue lies in the high levels of refined sugars present in such treats. These sugars, when consumed in excess, can lead to a condition known as peripheral artery disease, PAD. PAD occurs when plaque builds up in the arteries, restricting blood flow to the limbs, particularly the legs. Over time, this reduced blood flow can cause symptoms such as pain and numbness in the legs, especially during physical activity. To understand the impact of this, let's take a specific example. Consider a typical pastry or candy, which often contains a significant amount of refined sugars. For instance, a single serving of a popular pastry might contain around 30 grams of sugar, while a handful of candies could easily exceed 20 grams of sugar. These sugars are rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing spikes in blood glucose levels and putting stress on the body's vascular system. A typical chocolate chip cookie from a popular bakery chain may contain around 20 grams of sugar per serving. 
this amount is equivalent to approximately 5 teaspoons of sugar, exceeding the daily recommended limit for added sugar set by health organizations. The high sugar content in chocolate chip cookies rapidly elevates blood glucose levels upon consumption, triggering insulin spikes and putting strain on the cardiovascular system. Over time, frequent consumption of these sugary treats can contribute to the development of peripheral artery disease, PAD, leading to symptoms like leg pain and numbness. For older adults, where sweet treats are commonly enjoyed as snacks or desserts, this information is particularly crucial. With age, the risk of developing conditions like PAD increases, making it essential to moderate sugar intake to maintain optimal vascular health. Moving on to the topic of soda and carbonated beverages, have you ever wondered how these drinks might be affecting your leg pain and numbness? 3. Soda and Carbonated Beverages While most people associate soda with just being sugary, there's more to it. A significant factor is the high levels of sugar found in these beverages. For instance, a typical 12-ounce can of soda can contain around 39 grams of sugar, which is nearly double the daily recommended limit by the American Heart Association for adult men and women. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to weight gain, diabetes, and even cardiovascular problems, all of which can contribute to poor circulation and the sensation of pain and numbness in the legs. Moreover, carbonated drinks often contain caffeine and phosphoric acid. Caffeine, while providing a temporary energy boost, can constrict blood vessels, potentially reducing blood flow to the legs and exacerbating discomfort. Phosphoric acid, commonly used to add acidity and flavor to sodas, has been linked to decreased bone density and potential interference with calcium absorption, which may indirectly affect circulation health. To illustrate, consider this, a 12-ounce can of soda contains approximately 15 to 30 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the brand and type. This amount of caffeine, when consumed regularly, can lead to increased heart rate and constriction of blood vessels, possibly contributing to decreased circulation and sensations of pain and numbness in the legs over time. Moving on to what could be causing your pain and numbness in the legs, have you considered the potential impact of contaminated red meat and processed meat? 4. Contaminated red meat and processed meat The link between contaminated red meat and processed meat and health issues like pain and numbness in the legs might seem unexpected, but it's rooted in scientific understanding. One of the most intriguing scientific reasons behind this phenomenon lies in the presence of certain compounds found in these meats. Nitrites and nitrates, commonly used as preservatives in processed meats, can lead to the formation of nitrosamines in the body. These compounds have been linked to various health issues, including decreased blood flow and nerve damage. Studies have shown that consuming just 50 grams of processed meat per day, which is roughly equivalent to two slices of bacon, can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease by 42%. Furthermore, high levels of saturated fats and cholesterol in red and processed meats can contribute to the narrowing of blood vessels, a condition known as atherosclerosis. This narrowing restricts blood flow, leading to pain and numbness, especially in the legs where blood circulation may already be compromised due to factors like age or underlying health conditions. To illustrate, consider the nutrition label of a typical processed meat product like bacon. In just a single serving, there can be a significant amount of sodium nitrite, a precursor to nitrosamines, along with unhealthy levels of saturated fat and cholesterol. For example, a 100-gram serving of bacon contains approximately 30 milligrams of sodium nitrite, which is more than twice the recommended daily limit set by health authorities. Moving on to fried food and fast food, have you ever considered the impact of your diet on the pain and numbness in your legs? 5. Fried food and fast food Trans fats and saturated fats, prevalent in fried and fast foods, have profound physiological impacts on the body. When consumed in excess, these fats can raise levels of LDL, low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, commonly referred to as bad cholesterol, while lowering levels of HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, known as good cholesterol. This imbalance sets the stage for atherosclerosis, 
a condition characterized by the buildup of plaque in the arteries. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals who frequently consumed fried foods had significantly higher levels of LDL cholesterol and lower levels of HDL cholesterol compared to those who consumed them infrequently. Moreover, the researchers observed a dose-response relationship, meaning that the more fried food individuals consumed, the worse their cholesterol profile became. Now, let's look at a specific example regarding the nutritional composition of a fast food meal. A typical cheeseburger combo meal with fries and a soda can contain upwards of 20 grams of saturated fat and trans fat combined, along with approximately 1,000 milligrams of sodium. The American Heart Association recommends limiting daily intake of saturated fat to less than 13 grams and sodium to less than 2,300 milligrams to maintain heart health. Therefore, consuming just one such meal exceeds the recommended daily limits for these nutrients, increasing the risk of cardiovascular issues and poor circulation over time. Moving on to canned foods, have you ever wondered if these convenient options might be contributing to the pain and numbness in your legs? 6. Canned Food Canned food has revolutionized the way we store and consume food, providing convenience and extending shelf life. However, there's a lesser-known scientific reason behind a notable aspect of canned food, the potential for causing poor blood circulation leading to pain and numbness in your legs. The main culprit behind this issue is the presence of bisphenol A, BPA, in the lining of many canned food containers. BPA is a chemical used in the production of plastics and resins, and it's often found in the epoxy resin lining of canned goods. When these cans are exposed to high temperatures during the canning process or when stored for extended periods, BPA can leach into the food inside. Research has shown that BPA can interfere with the body's endocrine system, which regulates hormones and plays a crucial role in maintaining proper blood circulation. Specifically, BPA can disrupt the function of certain hormones involved in blood vessel health, potentially leading to reduced blood flow to the legs. For example, a typical can of canned soup might contain around 20 micrograms of BPA per serving. When consumed regularly over time, this exposure to BPA can accumulate in the body and contribute to circulatory issues. In addition to BPA, canned foods are often high in sodium, which can exacerbate circulatory problems by increasing blood pressure and fluid retention. This combination of factors makes canned food a potential contributor to conditions such as peripheral artery disease, which can manifest as pain and numbness in the legs. Have you noticed any of the foods I just mentioned in the list that you're currently consuming? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below this video. If you found the content I shared helpful, you might want to take a moment to pause and spend 5 seconds to like and share it with your friends. And I believe you might want to subscribe to not miss out on the exciting content to come. This will also give me a huge motivation to spend hours creating more engaging content. Sincerely thank you. In summary, ignoring the warning about the detrimental effects of consuming certain foods when experiencing pain and numbness in your legs can have dire consequences. Failure to heed this advice may exacerbate your condition, leading to further discomfort, decreased mobility, and potentially irreversible damage. It's imperative to prioritize your health and make informed dietary choices to alleviate symptoms and prevent long-term complications. Don't underestimate the significance of nutrition in managing your well-being, as it could mean the difference between regaining vitality or enduring prolonged suffering. Take heed, for the repercussions of neglecting this crucial aspect of your health can be severe and enduring. In the upcoming video, I will share effective strategies to minimize the impact of these foods. While awaiting its release, continue following the videos appearing on the screen, specifically tailored for you. How to reduce the risk of poor blood circulation in legs from bad foods? I know you've experienced that tingling sensation in your legs, haven't you? How does it feel each time it happens? Well, you sit down unable to continue your work, sometimes even clutching your leg in agony. Those are basic signs of poor blood circulation in the legs. 
according to statistics, approximately 20% of adults over the age of 50 suffer from some form of peripheral artery disease, PAD, a condition often linked to poor circulation. Furthermore, research suggests that over 30 million people in the United States alone are affected by varicose veins, another indicator of compromised blood flow in the lower extremities. In the previous video, we explored some foods detrimental to blood circulation, like canned foods or pastries. However, in today's age, avoiding these foods entirely can be challenging. So, what's the solution? How to reduce the risk of poor blood circulation in legs from bad foods? Stay tuned till the end of the video to not miss out on incredibly simple strategies that could save you from endless bouts of pain. Let's dive in. 1. White bread and products made from white flour. One effective strategy is to replace white bread with whole grain options like whole wheat bread, which contains higher fiber content. For example, while a serving of white bread contains around 1 gram of fiber, a serving of whole wheat bread can provide up to 3 grams of fiber. Fiber aids in digestion and can help regulate blood sugar levels, promoting better circulation. Additionally, whole grains contain essential nutrients such as magnesium, with a serving of whole wheat bread containing approximately 20 mg of magnesium. Magnesium supports muscle function and helps maintain healthy blood vessels. Another approach is to diversify carbohydrate sources by including legumes like lentils or beans in meals. These legumes provide complex carbohydrates, which are digested more slowly than simple carbohydrates found in white flour products. For instance, a serving of lentils contains about 15 grams of complex carbohydrates. This slow digestion helps prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar, reducing the strain on circulation in the legs. Moving on to sweet treats like pastries and candy, how can indulging in these affect blood circulation in the legs? 2. Sweet treats like pastries and candy. To maintain healthy blood circulation in the legs, especially for older adults at home, it's essential to manage the consumption of sweet treats like pastries and candy. These indulgences, while enjoyable, can contribute to adverse effects on circulation if consumed excessively. Here are two lesser-known tips to mitigate these negative impacts. Firstly, consider incorporating dark chocolate into your diet instead of sugary pastries and candy dark chocolate contains flavonoids, which have been shown to improve blood flow and circulation. Aim for at least 70% cocoa content to reap the maximum benefits. Consuming a small piece of dark chocolate daily, approximately 30 grams, can be a delicious and health-conscious alternative to high-sugar treats. Secondly, be mindful of your overall sugar intake throughout the day. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to inflammation and arterial damage, negatively impacting blood circulation. Opt for natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup in moderation and limit processed foods with added sugars. Aim to consume no more than 25 grams, 6 teaspoons, of added sugar per day for women and 36 grams, 9 teaspoons, for men, as recommended by the American Heart Association. Moving on to soda and carbonated beverages, have you ever wondered about their impact on our health? 3. Soda and Carbonated Beverages To maintain healthy blood circulation in your legs, especially for older adults at home, it's crucial to limit the consumption of soda and carbonated beverages. These drinks, laden with sugars, caffeine, and other additives, can have detrimental effects on your blood flow and overall health. Firstly, reducing the intake of sugary sodas can significantly benefit your circulation. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to obesity and diabetes, both of which are major risk factors for poor circulation. Instead of reaching for a can of soda, opt for water or herbal teas, which hydrate your body without the harmful effects of added sugars. Furthermore, carbonated beverages often contain high levels of caffeine, which can constrict blood vessels and impair circulation. Cutting back on caffeinated drinks like cola or energy drinks can help improve blood flow to your legs. Instead, choose decaffeinated alternatives or herbal infusions for a refreshing beverage choice. In addition to sugar and caffeine, 
the high sodium content in many sodas can contribute to fluid retention and swelling, further exacerbating circulation problems. By limiting your sodium intake, you can reduce the risk of edema and promote better blood flow throughout your body. Moreover, consider the nutritional value of the beverages you consume. Many sodas lack essential vitamins and minerals necessary for maintaining optimal circulation. For instance, a single serving of soda typically contains approximately 39 grams of sugar, far exceeding the recommended daily limit for added sugars, which is around 25 grams for women and 36 grams for men. In contrast, a homemade green smoothie containing spinach, kale, banana, and almond milk provides essential vitamins and minerals with minimal added sugars, promoting better circulation and overall health. To put it into perspective, a standard 12-ounce serving of soda contains approximately 39 grams of sugar, while a similar-sized smoothie may contain around 12 grams of natural sugars from fruits. Additionally, sodas usually have negligible amounts of potassium and magnesium, essential nutrients for blood vessel function, whereas a smoothie can provide approximately 400 mg of potassium and 100 mg of magnesium per serving. Moving on to contaminated red meat and processed meat, have you ever wondered about the potential health risks associated with consuming these products? 4. Contaminated red meat and processed meat. Maintaining good blood circulation in the legs is crucial, especially for older adults, as it contributes to overall health and mobility. Reducing the consumption of contaminated red meat and processed meat can be a proactive step in supporting healthy blood flow. Here are some lesser-known tips that can help minimize the negative impact of such meat on blood circulation. To begin with, opt for lean cuts of red meat as they contain lower levels of saturated fats, which can contribute to arterial stiffness. Incorporating fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon or mackerel, into the diet can also be beneficial for vascular health. These fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties that may help maintain the flexibility of blood vessels. Additionally, consider substituting processed meats with plant-based protein sources like legumes, tofu, or quinoa. These alternatives provide essential nutrients without the harmful additives often found in processed meats. For instance, a serving of lentils not only offers a protein boost but also provides a significant amount of iron, supporting overall circulatory health. Moreover, limiting the intake of sodium is essential, as excessive salt can contribute to hypertension, negatively impacting blood circulation. Instead of heavily salted processed meats, explore herbs and spices to enhance flavor without compromising cardiovascular health. The recommended daily sodium intake for adults is less than 2,300 mg, or about 1 teaspoon of salt. Furthermore, focusing on foods rich in potassium, such as bananas and sweet potatoes, can help regulate blood pressure. Potassium counteracts the effects of sodium and promotes optimal blood vessel function. A specific example would be aiming for at least 4,700 mg of potassium per day, which can be achieved through a combination of various fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Moving on to a ubiquitous dietary choice, how can we better manage our consumption habits to promote healthier living? 5. Fried Food and Fast Food Maintaining healthy blood circulation in the legs, especially for older adults, is crucial for overall well-being. One effective way to limit the adverse effects of consuming fried and fast food on blood circulation is by adopting a mindful and balanced diet. To begin with, reducing the intake of saturated fats found in fried foods is paramount. These fats can contribute to arterial plaque buildup, leading to restricted blood flow. For instance, a typical serving of deep-fried chicken wings can contain around 7 grams of saturated fat, while the same amount of grilled chicken breast has only about 1 gram. Instead of frying, opt for cooking methods such as baking, grilling, or steaming to preserve the nutritional value of foods without compromising on taste. For a practical example, consider a serving of homemade baked sweet potato fries. Compared to traditional deep-fried potato fries, the baked version contains significantly less saturated fat. Additionally, Sweet potatoes provide potassium, 
aiding in the regulation of blood pressure. In addition to cooking methods, paying attention to specific nutrients is essential. Omega-3 fatty acids, commonly found in fatty fish like salmon and flax seeds, can promote heart health and improve blood circulation. Incorporating these into the diet can be beneficial. For example, a 3-ounce serving of cooked salmon provides approximately 1.2 grams of omega-3 fatty acids. Moreover, consuming foods rich in antioxidants, such as berries and dark leafy greens, can combat oxidative stress and enhance blood vessel function. Furthermore, maintaining an optimal weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise is pivotal. Excess weight puts additional stress on the circulatory system, making it essential to strike a balance between calorie intake and physical activity. Moving on to a more sustainable lifestyle, have you ever considered alternatives that can positively impact the environment while minimizing the negative effects on your health? 6. Canned Food While canned foods offer convenience, they often contain high levels of sodium, which can contribute to poor circulation. However, there are several lesser-known tips to mitigate the negative impact of consuming canned foods on blood circulation in the legs. Firstly, opting for low-sodium or no-salt-added canned foods can significantly reduce the intake of sodium. Look for labels indicating low-sodium content, ideally below 140 mg per serving. For example, a serving of low-sodium canned green beans typically contains around 10 mg of sodium, compared to the regular version which can have up to 200 mg per serving. Additionally, rinsing canned vegetables and beans under cold water before consuming them can further decrease sodium levels by up to 40%. Furthermore, incorporating potassium-rich foods into the diet can help counteract the effects of sodium on blood circulation. Potassium helps regulate blood pressure and supports healthy blood flow. For instance, a medium-sized banana contains approximately 422 mg of potassium, while a serving of canned kidney beans provides around 350 mg. Consuming these alongside canned foods can help balance sodium intake and promote better circulation. Moreover, staying hydrated is essential for maintaining proper blood circulation. Drinking an adequate amount of water throughout the day can prevent dehydration, which can exacerbate circulation issues. Aim to drink at least 8 glasses of water daily, and avoid excessive consumption of caffeinated beverages, as they can contribute to dehydration. Additionally, incorporating foods rich in vitamin E into the diet can promote vascular health and improve circulation. Nuts, seeds, and leafy greens are excellent sources of vitamin E. For example, a tablespoon of sunflower seeds contains approximately 6 mg of vitamin E, while a cup of spinach provides around 3.7 mg. Including these foods in meals or snacks alongside canned items can support overall circulatory health. Giving up canned food can bring many benefits to the environment. By reducing the amount of plastic and metal packaging, we decrease the amount of waste going to landfills. Additionally, the production and transportation processes of canned food generate harmful gas emissions and carbon. Instead, eating fresh food and packaging it in glass jars or paper boxes can reduce the negative impact on the environment. Have you noticed any of the foods I just mentioned in the list that you're currently consuming? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below this video. If you found the content I shared helpful, you might want to take a moment to pause and spend 5 seconds to like and share it with your friends. And I believe you might want to subscribe to not miss out on the exciting content to come. This will also give me a huge motivation to spend hours creating more engaging content. Sincerely thank you. In summary, neglecting the insights provided in the video could lead to dire consequences for your leg circulation due to unhealthy dietary choices. Failure to heed these warnings may result in severe health complications, including increased risk of blood clots, peripheral artery disease, and ultimately, limb amputation. Take heed of the valuable advice offered in the video to safeguard your vascular health and ensure a better quality of life. Your legs deserve better than the neglect of poor dietary habits. In the next part, 
let's explore the possible causes of poor circulation. I will approach it from multiple angles. In the meantime, check out the videos I have prepared here while waiting. Why are your legs tired, tingling, and cramping? Exploring the root causes of blood circulation issues. Have you ever experienced that dreaded sensation of your legs feeling tired, tingling, and cramping? Before delving into remedies, have you paused to ponder, why are your legs constantly besieged by these discomforts? What triggers this sensation each time it arises? Understanding the root cause is paramount to finding a solution. Without clarity on the underlying factors, we're akin to sailors navigating treacherous waters without a compass. In previous discussions, we explored how certain foods, both beneficial and detrimental, can impact blood circulation. However, in this video, we embark on a deeper exploration of the myriad causes behind the phenomenon of tired, tingling, and cramping legs. What truly lies at the heart of this issue? Is it solely attributed to poor circulation, or are there other contributing factors waiting to be unearthed? Join me as we delve into the intricacies of this perplexing condition. 1. Lack of movement. When we sit or stand for extended periods, our leg muscles remain static, reducing the frequency of contractions that help pump blood back to the heart. This leads to poor circulation as blood pools in the lower extremities rather than circulating efficiently throughout the body. Over time, this stagnant blood flow can cause fatigue and a sensation of tingling or numbness in the legs. Additionally, prolonged sitting or standing can contribute to the development of blood clots in the legs, known as deep vein thrombosis, DVT. These clots can obstruct blood flow, leading to swelling, pain, and in severe cases, life-threatening complications if they dislodge and travel to vital organs. To address these issues and promote better circulation, it's crucial to incorporate regular movement into our daily routines. Simple activities like taking short walks, stretching, or doing leg exercises can help stimulate blood flow and prevent the negative effects of prolonged sitting or standing. Furthermore, investing in ergonomic furniture, such as standing desks or adjustable chairs, can significantly improve our posture and reduce the strain on our legs and circulatory system. Standing desks allow for seamless transitions between sitting and standing, promoting movement throughout the workday and preventing prolonged periods of immobility. Similarly, adjustable chairs with lumbar support and proper seat height can help maintain a neutral spine position, reducing pressure on the lower back and improving overall comfort. Additionally, Wearing compression socks or stockings can provide valuable support and enhance blood circulation during extended periods of inactivity. These specialized garments exert gentle pressure on the legs, helping to prevent blood from pooling in the lower extremities and reducing the risk of swelling and discomfort. By improving venous return and promoting blood flow, compression socks can alleviate symptoms of fatigue, tingling sensations, and muscle cramps associated with poor circulation. Moving to the realm of muscle fatigue, have you ever wondered why your legs feel tired, tingling, and cramping after a strenuous workout? 2. Muscle Fatigue When engaging in strenuous activities such as running, cycling, or weightlifting, leg muscles are subjected to repeated contractions and extensions. These movements require energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, ADP, which is generated through the breakdown of glucose and stored energy sources within the muscles. However, when muscles are pushed beyond their capacity or when they are not given enough time to recover, the supply of ATP becomes depleted, leading to muscle fatigue. Moreover, during intense physical activity, muscles produce lactic acid as a byproduct of anaerobic metabolism. While a certain level of lactic acid is normal and can be cleared from the muscles, Excessive accumulation can contribute to muscle fatigue. This buildup of lactic acid can impair muscle function and contribute to the sensation of fatigue and discomfort. Furthermore, prolonged or repetitive use of leg muscles can lead to microtrauma, which is the damage to muscle fibers at a microscopic level. This damage triggers an inflammatory response in the body, leading to swelling and soreness in the affected muscles. As a result, 
the muscles become more susceptible to fatigue and may require more time to recover fully. To mitigate muscle fatigue and prevent injury, it is essential to incorporate proper rest and recovery periods into exercise routines. Additionally, maintaining a balanced diet rich in carbohydrates, proteins, and fluids can help replenish energy stores and support muscle repair and growth. By understanding the scientific mechanisms behind muscle fatigue and adopting appropriate preventive measures, individuals can optimize their physical performance and overall well-being. In a study conducted by the American College of Sports Medicine, researchers found that prolonged cycling at high intensities resulted in a significant increase in muscle fatigue, as evidenced by a 30% decrease in muscle force production and an increase of 20% in perceived exertion. Similarly, a study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research reported that marathon runners experienced greater muscle fatigue towards the end of a race, with a 25% decrease in muscle strength and a 30% increase in muscle soreness compared to the beginning of the race. These findings highlight the importance of pacing oneself and allowing for adequate recovery during intense physical activities to prevent muscle fatigue and enhance performance. Moving to nerve compression, ever wondered why your legs feel tired, tingling, and cramping? 3. Nerve compression Nerve compression, a common issue among adults, occurs when prolonged pressure is applied to a nerve, disrupting its normal function. This compression can arise from various sources, including habitual behaviors like sitting with crossed legs or wearing tight clothing. These seemingly innocuous actions can exert significant pressure on nerves, particularly those in the legs, leading to tingling sensations and discomfort. When you sit with crossed legs, you might not realize that you're actually compressing the nerves running through your legs. Over time, this pressure can impede the flow of signals along the nerves, resulting in sensations of tingling or numbness. Similarly, tight clothing, such as skinny jeans or snug undergarments, can exert constant pressure on the nerves, causing similar symptoms. The science behind this discomfort lies in the anatomy of our nerves. Nerves are delicate structures that transmit signals between the brain and the rest of the body. When pressure is applied to a nerve, it can become irritated or even damaged, disrupting the flow of signals and causing sensations like tingling or discomfort. Studies have shown that even short periods of nerve compression can have noticeable effects. For example, research conducted at the University of California found that sitting with crossed legs for as little as 15 minutes can lead to decreased nerve conduction velocity, indicating potential nerve damage. Similarly, a study published in the Journal of Neurology demonstrated that wearing tight clothing for extended periods can increase the risk of nerve compression-related symptoms. To alleviate discomfort associated with nerve compression, it's important to be mindful of your posture and clothing choices. Avoid sitting with crossed legs for prolonged periods, and opt for looser-fitting clothing to reduce pressure on your nerves. Moving on to another factor contributing to blood circulation issues, could your legs be tired, tingling, and cramping due to dehydration? What are some common signs of dehydration, and how does it impact blood flow in the body? 4. Dehydration Dehydration plays a significant role in causing muscle cramps and fatigue, impacting overall muscle function. When we become dehydrated, our bodies lose essential fluids and electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium, which are crucial for muscle contraction and relaxation. Without an adequate supply of fluids and electrolytes, our muscles are more prone to cramping and feeling fatigued. Muscle cramps occur when there is an imbalance of electrolytes in the muscles. Electrolytes help regulate muscle contractions, and when levels are low due to dehydration, muscles can involuntarily contract, leading to painful cramps. Additionally, dehydration reduces blood flow to the muscles, limiting the delivery of oxygen and nutrients necessary for proper muscle function. As a result, muscles can feel tired and weak, making physical activity more challenging and increasing the risk of injury. Staying hydrated is essential for maintaining optimal muscle function and preventing cramps and fatigue. Adults should aim to drink at least 8-8 ounce glasses of water per day, but individual fluid needs may vary based on factors like age, weight, and activity level. 
It's also important to replenish electrolytes lost through sweat, especially during intense exercise or hot weather, by consuming electrolyte-rich fluids or foods like sports drinks, coconut water, or bananas. To illustrate the impact of dehydration, consider this, even mild dehydration, as little as 1-2% to loss of body weight from fluid loss, can impair physical performance and increase the risk of muscle cramps and fatigue. For example, if an individual weighing 150 pounds loses just 3 pounds of fluid, approximately 2% of body weight, through sweating during exercise without adequate hydration, they may experience noticeable declines in muscle function and endurance. Moving on to the possible causes of blood circulation issues, have you ever considered how mineral imbalances could be affecting your body? 5. Mineral imbalance. Mineral imbalances, specifically in essential electrolytes like potassium, calcium, and magnesium, play a crucial role in the occurrence of muscle cramps and fatigue among older adults in the United States. These minerals are essential for maintaining proper muscle function and nerve transmission, and their imbalance can lead to adverse health effects. Potassium, for instance, is integral in regulating muscle contractions. A deficiency in potassium may result in muscle weakness and cramping. In the elderly, inadequate dietary intake, coupled with certain medications that deplete potassium levels, contributes to this imbalance. Calcium, another vital mineral, is essential for muscle contraction and bone health. Its deficiency can lead to increased muscle cramps and fatigue. Additionally, magnesium plays a crucial role in energy metabolism and muscle function, and its insufficiency is linked to muscle weakness and cramps. To address these mineral imbalances, it is imperative for older adults to focus on a well-balanced diet rich in potassium, calcium, and magnesium-containing foods. Bananas, oranges, leafy greens, dairy products, and nuts are excellent sources of these minerals. Furthermore, supplementation may be necessary, especially for individuals with specific dietary restrictions or those taking medications that deplete mineral levels. Consulting with healthcare professionals is vital to determine the appropriate dosage of supplements tailored to individual needs. Moving on to the topic of poor circulation, have you ever wondered why your legs feel tired, tingling, and cramping? Let's explore the underlying causes of these symptoms and delve into the complexities of blood circulation issues. 6. Poor circulation. Poor circulation is a common health concern among older adults in the United States, affecting the overall well-being and quality of life. The primary contributors to this issue are conditions such as peripheral artery disease, PAD, and venous insufficiency, which significantly impact blood flow to the legs. Peripheral artery disease occurs when arteries that supply blood to the legs become narrowed or blocked due to the buildup of plaque. According to recent data, approximately 8.5 million Americans aged 40 and older are affected by PAD, with an increased prevalence in individuals over 70 years old. This narrowing restricts blood flow, leading to symptoms like fatigue, tingling, and cramping in the legs. Furthermore, Studies indicate that untreated PAD may escalate the risk of serious complications, including amputation. Venous insufficiency, another key factor contributing to poor circulation, occurs when the veins struggle to efficiently return blood from the legs to the heart. Data suggests that over 40% of the U.S. population, primarily those over 50, experience venous insufficiency symptoms, such as swelling and discomfort in the legs. The impaired blood flow can result in chronic venous insufficiency, leading to skin changes and venous ulcers. Addressing poor circulation in older adults involves raising awareness about the risk factors for PAD and venous insufficiency, such as smoking, diabetes, and sedentary lifestyles. Encouraging regular exercise, a healthy diet, and routine checkups can play a pivotal role in preventing and managing these conditions, ultimately improving blood flow and enhancing overall vascular health. Moving on to nerve disorders, have you ever experienced sudden numbness or weakness in your legs without apparent cause? 7. Nerve Disorders Nerve disorders can be a source of significant discomfort and tingling sensations in the legs, impacting the lives of many, especially older adults in the United States. 
Two common conditions contributing to these symptoms are diabetic neuropathy and sciatica. Diabetic neuropathy is a complication of diabetes that affects the nerves, particularly in the legs and feet. Over time, high blood sugar levels can damage nerve fibers, leading to tingling, numbness, or pain in the legs. In fact, studies show that around 50% of people with diabetes develop some form of neuropathy during their lifetime. Sciatica, on the other hand, occurs when the sciatic nerve, which runs from the lower back down through the legs, becomes irritated or compressed. This compression can result from various causes, such as a herniated disc or bone spur, leading to tingling, shooting pain, or weakness in one leg. Research indicates that approximately 40% of people will experience sciatica at some point in their lives. Fortunately, there are several treatment options available to manage these conditions and alleviate symptoms. For diabetic neuropathy, controlling blood sugar levels through medication, diet, and exercise is crucial. Additionally, medications such as antidepressants or anticonvulsants may help relieve nerve pain. Lifestyle modifications like wearing comfortable shoes and practicing proper foot care can also prevent further nerve damage. Similarly, treatment for sciatica often involves a combination of medication, physical therapy, and lifestyle adjustments. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can reduce inflammation and relieve pain, while physical therapy exercises can strengthen muscles and improve flexibility to alleviate pressure on the sciatic nerve. In severe cases, epidural steroid injections or surgery may be considered. Moving on from circulation issues, have you ever considered how lifestyle factors might contribute to your overall well-being? 8. Lifestyle Factors Firstly, stress plays a significant role in exacerbating leg discomfort. When we experience stress, our bodies release hormones like cortisol, which can lead to muscle tension and fatigue. Over time, this constant tension can result in symptoms such as tingling and cramping in the legs. According to recent studies, over 60% of older adults in the U.S. report experiencing moderate to high levels of stress, highlighting its prevalence as a contributing factor to leg discomfort. Secondly, inadequate sleep is another common culprit. Sleep is essential for allowing our bodies to repair and rejuvenate, including our leg muscles. When we don't get enough sleep, our muscles don't have adequate time to recover, leading to increased fatigue and susceptibility to cramping. Surprisingly, research shows that nearly 35% of older adults in the U.S. don't get the recommended 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night, further emphasizing the importance of addressing sleep habits for managing leg discomfort. Lastly, poor nutrition can also play a significant role. Certain vitamin deficiencies, such as vitamin D and magnesium, have been linked to muscle weakness and cramping. Additionally, diets high in processed foods and low in essential nutrients can contribute to inflammation and impaired muscle function, exacerbating symptoms of leg discomfort. Are you experiencing tired, tingling, and cramping sensations in your feet? Now that you've reached this point, you probably know what to do. If you found the content helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to have the motivation to create valuable content that helps everyone. Thank you very much. In conclusion, neglecting to address the root causes of blood circulation issues, as discussed in the video, could lead to dire consequences. Ignoring the signs of tiredness, tingling, and cramping in your legs may exacerbate underlying health problems, potentially resulting in severe circulatory complications. It is imperative to heed these warning signs and take proactive measures to improve blood flow and overall vascular health. Failure to do so could significantly impact your quality of life and increase the risk of serious health issues down the line. In the upcoming video, we'll explore an interesting topic, blood circulation for hair growth. While you wait, keep an eye on the videos appearing on the screen, specially designed for you. Top 12 Superfoods to Naturally Boost Your Blood Flow and Circulation In the rush of contemporary life, many tend to overlook the critical aspect of maintaining a balanced blood flow and circulation until signs of trouble emerge. Symptoms like chest pain, fatigue, 
or a pallid complexion often go unnoticed. The perilous nature of blood flow and circulation problems extends to severe complications like heart attacks and strokes. According to the World Health Organization, millions face issues related to blood circulation annually, increasing the risk of heart diseases and strokes by up to 50%, as highlighted by the American Heart Association. National health statistics indicate that around 122 million people in the United States grapple with blood pressure and circulation concerns, straining healthcare and escalating societal healthcare costs. To address and improve blood flow and circulation, integrating the top 10 superfoods into daily nutrition is a natural and impactful approach. This curated list, based on research from reputable institutions, provides essential nutrients and anti-inflammatory agents to combat compromised blood circulation. So, please be a little patient and stay until the end of the video to not miss out on some fantastic tips. And now, let's get started. 1. Leafy Greens Leafy greens, such as spinach, kale, and Swiss chard, stand out in their ability to enhance cardiovascular health and contribute significantly to overall well-being. These greens are rich in nitrates, compounds that play a pivotal role in the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide, in turn, acts as a vasodilator, relaxing and widening blood vessels. This vasodilatory effect aids in reducing blood pressure and facilitating improved blood flow throughout the circulatory system. Moreover, leafy greens are abundant in vitamins, especially vitamin K, which supports proper blood clotting, and folate, essential for DNA synthesis and repair. The combination of these nutrients creates a holistic approach to cardiovascular health. Studies conducted by reputable organizations like the American Heart Association consistently highlight the positive impact of regular leafy green consumption on heart health. The Framingham Heart Study, for instance, found a significant association between increased leafy green intake and a lower risk of cardiovascular diseases. Incorporate these tips into your culinary repertoire, and you'll discover new dimensions of taste and health benefits. Firstly, when cooking with spinach, consider a quick blanching method. Instead of boiling, immerse the leaves briefly in hot water, followed by an immediate ice bath. This helps retain their vibrant green color and essential nutrients. Moreover, kale can be transformed into crispy, nutritious chips. Simply toss kale leaves with olive oil, sprinkle a pinch of salt, and bake until crispy. It's a delightful alternative to traditional snacks. For Swiss chard, don't discard the colorful stems. Saute them with garlic and olive oil for a tasty and nutritious side dish. This reduces waste and adds a flavorful element to your meals. Continuing our journey deep into the depths of the ocean, where we find a familiar source of omega-3. I believe you can guess the second food now. 2. Fatty fish Fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and trout, stand out due to their high omega-3 fatty acid content, particularly icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, and decosahexaonic acid, DHA. These essential fatty acids play a pivotal role in promoting cardiovascular well-being. Numerous studies, including a comprehensive analysis published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, have consistently demonstrated that omega-3 fatty acids contribute significantly to improving blood flow. These fatty acids exhibit anti-inflammatory properties, reducing arterial stiffness and enhancing the dilation of blood vessels. Furthermore, the unique quality of fatty fish lies in its ability to address multiple aspects of cardiovascular health simultaneously. EPA and DHA not only aid in blood flow but also regulate blood pressure, reduce triglycerides, and prevent the formation of blood clots. This multifaceted approach is particularly advantageous for individuals seeking comprehensive cardiovascular support. Moreover, Fatty fish intake has been associated with improved endothelial function, the inner lining of blood vessels, ensuring their smooth functioning and reducing the risk of atherosclerosis. The incorporation of fatty fish into the diet, at least twice a week as recommended by health organizations, emerges as a holistic strategy for enhancing blood circulation and fortifying cardiovascular health. 
Moving on to food number three, they are contained in those familiar small jars in the kitchen where you often prepare your daily meals. 3. Spices Capsaicin, a compound found in chili peppers, has been a focal point in our studies. It possesses vasodilatory properties, meaning it can widen blood vessels and enhance blood flow. This effect is particularly beneficial for individuals struggling with compromised circulation. Moreover, capsaicin has demonstrated its ability to stimulate the release of nitric oxide, a key regulator of blood vessel dilation. Another noteworthy spice is cinnamon. Cinnamaldehyde, the active component in cinnamon, has been linked to improved blood circulation. Studies have shown that regular consumption of cinnamon can enhance blood flow by relaxing blood vessels and reducing inflammation. Ginger, a spice with a long history of medicinal use, has also shown promise in promoting blood circulation. Gingerol, the bioactive compound in ginger, has anti-inflammatory and vasodilatory effects, contributing to increased blood flow. To enhance their benefits, consider toasting spices lightly before use, it not only intensifies their flavors but also activates certain compounds beneficial for digestion. Moreover, harness the power of spice blends, such as turmeric with black pepper. Combining these spices enhances the absorption of curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Additionally, store spices in a cool, dark place to preserve their potency. Surprisingly, Spices like cinnamon and cloves can subtly sweeten your meals without the need for added sugar. The next food on our list is vibrant in color and has the earthy taste. Can you guess what they are? 4. Beetroot Beetroot, scientifically known as beta vulgaris, is a remarkable vegetable with a distinctive deep red color attributed to its rich content of nitrates. Nitrates play a pivotal role in promoting vasodilation, the widening of blood vessels, which, in turn, positively impacts blood flow and circulation. Numerous studies, including a comprehensive analysis published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, have highlighted the extraordinary effects of beetroot on cardiovascular health. The nitrates present in beetroot are converted into nitric oxide within the body. Nitric oxide acts as a vasodilator, relaxing and widening blood vessels, thereby improving blood flow. This vasodilatory effect is particularly beneficial for individuals with compromised circulation or hypertension. Moreover, beetroot has been associated with improved exercise performance and endurance. A study conducted at the University of Exeter demonstrated that individuals who consumed beetroot juice experienced enhanced blood flow to muscles during exercise, leading to increased stamina and reduced fatigue. What sets beetroot apart is its concentrated source of dietary nitrates, a feature not as prevalent in many other foods. This distinctive attribute makes beetroot a standout choice for those looking to specifically target and improve blood flow and circulation. Unveiling lesser-known secrets about beetroot, here are two small yet impactful tips that few are aware of. Firstly, incorporate raw beetroot into your salads to maximize nutrient absorption, as cooking may lead to nutrient loss. Additionally, the nitrates in beetroot can enhance exercise performance. Try consuming beetroot juice approximately 2 to 3 hours before your workout for a natural boost. Continuing with small, colorful gems at number 5. 5. Berries. Berries, such as blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries, distinguish themselves in the realm of health-centric foods due to their remarkable phytochemical composition. One key component contributing to the vascular benefits of berries is the presence of anthocyanins, a class of potent antioxidants. Anthocyanins have demonstrated vasodilatory effects in several studies, promoting the relaxation of blood vessels and subsequently improving blood flow. This physiological response is crucial in maintaining optimal circulation throughout the cardiovascular system. Furthermore, the flavonoid content in berries, notably quercetin and mericetin, has been associated with anti-inflammatory effects. Chronic inflammation is a known factor in cardiovascular diseases, and the ability of berries to mitigate inflammation contributes significantly to overall heart health. The modulation of inflammatory pathways, 
as evidenced in research studies published in prestigious journals like the Journal of Nutrition, provides a solid scientific foundation for the positive impact of berries on vascular health. It's noteworthy that frozen berries can remarkably preserve their nutritional value. This is particularly beneficial for individuals looking to enjoy the health benefits of berries all year round. Food number six is one of my favorites. Fortunately, they are beneficial for circulation. 6. Dark Chocolate and Cocoa Dark chocolate is rich in flavonoids, particularly flavanols, which have been extensively studied for their positive effects on cardiovascular health. Flavanols contribute to the production of nitric oxide in the body, a compound known for its ability to relax blood vessels and improve blood flow. This vasodilation effect is crucial in enhancing circulation and reducing the risk of cardiovascular issues. One notable study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consuming dark chocolate significantly increased blood flow in the peripheral arteries. The participants experienced improved circulation, leading to better oxygenation of tissues and potentially reducing the risk of blood clot formation. Moreover, Dark chocolate has been associated with a positive impact on blood pressure. Research suggests that regular consumption of dark chocolate may contribute to lower blood pressure levels, further promoting a healthy cardiovascular system. It's important to highlight the significance of choosing high-quality dark chocolate with a cocoa content of at least 70% to maximize these health benefits. Dark chocolate, a delightful treat for many, surprisingly harbors some lesser-known health secrets. Firstly, incorporating a small piece of dark chocolate into your morning routine can provide an energy boost and mental clarity throughout the day. Secondly, indulging in a square or two can be a mindful way to curb sweet cravings, aiding in weight management. Continuing with a food commonly found in kitchens worldwide, it's not just a simple aromatic ingredient. 7. Garlic and Onions the active compound allicin in garlic is a powerhouse when it comes to cardiovascular health. Allicin, formed when garlic is crushed or chopped, is renowned for its vasodilatory effects. This means that it helps relax and widen blood vessels, ultimately leading to improved blood flow. Notably, allicin has been observed in studies to exhibit antihypertensive effects by reducing blood levels. On the other hand, onions, a close relative in the allium family, offer unique attributes. The flavonoid quercetin found abundantly in onions has been subject to numerous studies highlighting its positive impact on endothelial function. Quercetin promotes the release of nitric oxide, a vasodilator, resulting in the dilation of blood vessels. This physiological response enhances blood flow and contributes to an optimized circulatory system. Furthermore, the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties inherent in both garlic and onions contribute significantly to their cardiovascular prowess. Oxidative stress and inflammation are known culprits in damaging blood vessels, and the potent compounds in these culinary gems act as protective shields, maintaining the integrity of the vascular system. Here's a little-known tip for boosting the health benefits of onions, sauté them in olive oil. This simple cooking technique can significantly increase the quercetin content in onions, enhancing their anti-inflammatory properties. The next food on our list is the juicy, fragrant fruit famous for its delicious taste. 8. Citrus Fruit The flavonoids present in citrus fruits exhibit powerful antioxidant properties, reducing oxidative stress within blood vessels. This, in turn, contributes to the relaxation of blood vessels, promoting vasodilation and enhancing blood flow. Furthermore, vitamin C, a key component in citrus fruits, supports the synthesis of collagen, an essential protein for maintaining the integrity of blood vessels. What makes citrus fruits truly exceptional is their ability to enhance nitric oxide bioavailability. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, facilitating the expansion of blood vessels and subsequently improving blood circulation. This unique attribute sets citrus fruits apart, providing a natural and delicious means to support cardiovascular health. You may have heard that it's a good idea to eat an orange after a meal. Consider incorporating a delightful orange into your post-meal routine.
the rich vitamin C content not only enhances your overall health but also aids in the absorption of non-heme iron, crucial for plant-based food enthusiasts indulging in beans, lentils, and leafy greens. Continuing with an adorable-looking fruit, with a creamy texture, rich flavor, and a variety of tastes. 9. Avocado Avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats, particularly oleic acid, which has been linked to improved cardiovascular health. The monounsaturated fats contribute to maintaining healthy cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of plaque buildup in arteries, and ultimately supporting optimal blood flow. Additionally, avocados contain potassium, a crucial mineral that helps regulate blood pressure. Furthermore, avocados are a powerhouse of antioxidants, including vitamin E and carotenoids. These antioxidants play a vital role in protecting blood vessels from oxidative stress, preventing inflammation, and enhancing overall vascular function. Studies have indicated that regular avocado consumption may positively impact endothelial function, promoting the dilation of blood vessels and facilitating smoother blood circulation. Moreover, the presence of fiber in avocados contributes to weight management, which is another factor influencing cardiovascular health. Maintaining a healthy weight reduces the strain on the heart and enhances blood circulation. Beyond being a tasty addition to your plate, avocados harbor lesser-known secrets that can elevate your culinary experience. Firstly, avocados can act as a butter substitute in baking, adding a creamy texture while reducing saturated fats. Additionally, try using avocado pits to infuse oils or create homemade facial masks, maximizing their utility. The next item on our list is not just a traditional beverage, but also a splendid symbol of sophistication and health. 10. Green Tea The unique composition of green tea, enriched with polyphenolic catechins, especially epigallocatechin gallate EGCG, is the cornerstone of its cardiovascular benefits. Several well-documented studies, including those published in esteemed journals such as the Journal of the American College of Cardiology and Circulation, underline the vasodilatory effects of green tea catechins. These compounds induce the relaxation of blood vessels, thereby improving blood flow and circulation. Notably, EGCG has shown to modulate endothelial function, contributing to the dilation of arteries and enhancing overall vascular performance. A pivotal mechanism behind the enhanced blood circulation observed with green tea consumption lies in its ability to stimulate nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide acts as a vasodilator, promoting the widening of blood vessels and ensuring optimal blood flow. The clinical relevance of this effect is paramount, as it mitigates the risk of thrombosis and aids in the efficient transport of oxygen and nutrients to vital organs. Moreover, Green tea's impact on endothelial function extends beyond immediate dilation, as it addresses underlying factors contributing to vascular health. Studies have highlighted the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties of green tea catechins, safeguarding blood vessels from oxidative stress and inflammation that could impede circulation. Beyond its widely known benefits, green tea harbors two lesser-known secrets that can elevate your well-being. Firstly, Incorporating a dash of lemon into your green tea not only enhances its flavor but also boosts the absorption of antioxidants, particularly catechins, thanks to the synergistic effect of vitamin C. Additionally, don't discard used green tea bags too quickly, place them on your eyes for a few minutes. The natural antioxidants and tannins can help reduce puffiness and soothe tired eyes. These simple yet effective tips, seamlessly integrated into your green tea routine, unveil an extra layer of health and rejuvenation. Continuing with the rich nutritional profile and unique flavor of pomegranate, adorned in vibrant red. 11. Pomegranate The standout feature of pomegranate lies in its potent bioactive compounds, primarily punicalogens and anthocyanins, which have demonstrated remarkable cardiovascular benefits. Studies, including research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, indicate that regular consumption of pomegranate can contribute significantly to increasing nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide plays a pivotal role in vasodilation, the widening of blood vessels, thereby promoting improved blood flow. Furthermore, 
research from the Journal of Medicinal Food highlights the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties of pomegranate, which are crucial in maintaining the health of blood vessels and supporting overall cardiovascular function. These attributes make pomegranate a standout option for those looking to enhance blood circulation. In addition, the fruit has shown promise in reducing arterial stiffness, a common issue associated with aging that can impede proper blood circulation. Unlock the full potential of pomegranate with two lesser-known tips. Firstly, don't discard the peel, blend it into smoothies or add it to salads for extra antioxidants and fiber. Secondly, freeze pomegranate arils for a refreshing snack or a flavor boost in beverages. These small tricks offer big health benefits and enhance your overall pomegranate experience. The next fruit on our list is incredibly juicy and boasts a wonderful characteristic red hue. 12. Watermelon Watermelon contains a powerful compound called citrulline, which has been extensively studied for its cardiovascular benefits. Citrulline is known to promote the dilation of blood vessels, contributing to improved blood flow. In the body, citrulline is converted into arginine, an amino acid that plays a key role in the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, in turn, relaxes and widens blood vessels, facilitating a smoother blood circulation. Numerous studies, including research conducted by the American Journal of Hypertension, have demonstrated the positive impact of citrulline on blood pressure regulation. The vasodilatory effects of citrulline-rich watermelon make it a unique and effective natural solution for individuals looking to enhance their cardiovascular health. Moreover, watermelon is rich in other essential nutrients such as vitamins A and C, as well as antioxidants like lycopene. These components contribute to overall heart health, protecting against oxidative stress and inflammation. Surprisingly, Few people are aware that watermelon is not just a refreshing treat but also a source of hydration. Its high water content, approximately 92%, makes it an excellent choice to stay hydrated during hot days. If you find the information I share interesting and helpful, you may consider liking and subscribing. It only takes 5 seconds of your time but provides me with great motivation. Thank you very much. If you're interested in other topics revolving around heart health, I think you'll want to check out the four content sections at the end of this video or in the description below. In embracing the simplicity of these 12 superfoods, you unlock a powerhouse of benefits for your blood flow and overall well-being. Despite their uncomplicated nature, these foods wield a tremendous impact on your circulatory health. Incorporating them into your daily diet is not just a choice, it's a simple yet potent investment in your vitality. Don't underestimate the transformative effects of these accessible superfoods. Take the simple steps today for a healthier and more energized life. Top 10 Simple Anti-Inflammatory Drinks That Are Effective In recent years, the prevalence of inflammatory-related illnesses has surged, with conditions such as arthritis, cardiovascular disease, and even certain types of cancer on the rise. According to recent statistics, inflammatory diseases collectively affect millions worldwide, with over 350 million people suffering from arthritis alone. The link between inflammation and these dangerous health outcomes cannot be overstated. Particularly alarming is the role of modern industrialized diets in exacerbating inflammation. Processed foods laden with trans fats, refined sugars, and chemical additives have become staples, contributing significantly to the inflammatory burden on our bodies. As highlighted in my previous video, these dietary choices are directly linked to the manifestation of inflammation and its associated health risks, many of which remain largely unrecognized by the general public. I've meticulously curated this list based on thoroughly vetted scientific information, aiming to provide you with the most reliable guidance in combating inflammation. Have you ever considered that the solution may lie right in your kitchen, with simple yet potent ingredients? Well, I'm excited to share with you today a curated list of the top 10 simple anti-inflammatory drinks that pack a powerful punch in combating inflammation. Stay patient until the end of the video to not miss out on special insights that you may not know. 
let's start with green tea. 1. Green tea. Firstly, green tea contains polyphenol, notably epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, which actively combat inflammation. Seniors can benefit from incorporating 2 to 3 cups daily into their routine. Studies have revealed that a typical serving of green tea contains approximately 50 to 100 mg of EGCG per cup. Alongside EGCG, green tea also contains other beneficial compounds such as catechins and flavonoids, each playing a role in combating inflammation. Secondly, Green tea assists in reducing the risk of chronic diseases associated with aging, including cardiovascular issues and cognitive decline. Its antioxidants protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, thus promoting overall health. For optimal results, seniors should steep high-quality green tea leaves in hot water, not boiling, for 3 to 5 minutes to extract maximum nutrients without bitterness. Adding a slice of lemon can enhance absorption of antioxidants. However, excessive consumption can lead to caffeine-related side effects such as insomnia or increased heart rate, so moderation is key. Seniors on blood thinners or with caffeine sensitivity should consult a healthcare professional before integrating green tea into their regimen. Now, how about a warm, golden-hued drink that adds a little spice to your morning routine? 2. Turmeric Latte Turmeric latte, also known as golden milk, is a traditional Indian drink praised for its anti-inflammatory properties. Firstly, turmeric latte contains curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, which has potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Consuming it regularly can help alleviate symptoms of arthritis, joint pain, and inflammation associated with various age-related conditions. To maximize its benefits, it's recommended to consume about 1 to 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder mixed with warm milk daily. Adding a pinch of black pepper can enhance curcumin absorption. Secondly, turmeric latte can aid in digestion and improve gut health. Turmeric stimulates bile production, which helps break down fats and aids in digestion. Additionally, its anti-inflammatory properties can soothe the digestive tract and alleviate symptoms of bloating and gas. Seniors can enjoy turmeric latte as a soothing bedtime drink or as a midday pick-me-up. However, it's essential to note that turmeric may interact with certain medications, especially blood thinners. Seniors should consult their healthcare provider before incorporating it into their diet, especially if they are on medication or have underlying health conditions. Now, imagine a warm, aromatic beverage that invigorates your senses on a chilly evening. 3. Ginger Tea Firstly, the active compound in ginger, gingerol, possesses potent anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce swelling and pain associated with various conditions such as arthritis and joint stiffness. Consuming ginger tea regularly can contribute to improved mobility and comfort. Secondly, ginger tea aids digestion, another crucial aspect of reducing inflammation. By promoting healthy digestion and gut health, ginger tea helps prevent inflammation triggered by digestive issues such as bloating, gas, and indigestion. This is particularly beneficial for seniors who may experience digestive discomfort more frequently. To prepare ginger tea, simply steep fresh ginger slices or grated ginger in hot water for about 10 minutes. Add honey or lemon for extra flavor if desired. It's recommended to consume 1 to 2 cups of ginger tea per day for optimal anti-inflammatory benefits. However, it's essential to note that while ginger tea is generally safe for most people, excessive consumption may lead to side effects such as heartburn or stomach upset. Now, imagine a refreshing blend that transports you straight to the tropics. 4. Pineapple Smoothie Recent studies, including data from reputable organizations such as the World Health Organization and the National Institutes of Health, reveal that pineapple smoothies are rich in bromelain, an enzyme with potent anti-inflammatory effects. Bromelain has been linked to reducing inflammation in the body, making it particularly beneficial for individuals dealing with inflammatory conditions such as arthritis. Analyzing the nutritional content a typical pineapple smoothie contains an impressive 94 mg of vitamin C per cup, 
surpassing the daily recommended intake. Vitamin C is renowned for its antioxidant properties, playing a crucial role in combating oxidative stress and inflammation. Furthermore, the smoothie includes manganese, a mineral essential for enzyme activation, with approximately 1.5 mg per serving. These findings underscore the potential health benefits of incorporating pineapple smoothies into one's diet. With its abundance of bromelain, vitamin C, and manganese, this tropical elixir stands out as a delicious and nutritious way to promote anti-inflammatory effects, supporting overall well-being, especially among the older population. To maximize the anti-inflammatory benefits of a pineapple smoothie for older adults, consider blending half a cup of fresh pineapple chunks with a handful of spinach for added nutrients and anti-inflammatory compounds. Add a tablespoon of grated ginger for an extra anti-inflammatory boost and a dash of turmeric for its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Now onto a tangy beverage that perfectly complements any dessert. 5. Cherry Juice for decades, cherry juice has been hailed as a natural remedy for inflammation, but what exactly makes it so potent? Recent research has delved into its nutritional composition, revealing astonishing truths that few are aware of. Cherry juice boasts a rich concentration of antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins and flavonoids. These compounds play a pivotal role in combating inflammation by neutralizing harmful free radicals in the body. Studies have shown that just one cup of cherry juice can contain upwards of 100 mg of anthocyanins, a staggering amount compared to other fruits. Moreover, cherries are packed with vitamins and minerals essential for overall health. A single serving of cherry juice can provide over 16% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C, known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Additionally, cherries are a rich source of potassium, magnesium, and fiber, all of which contribute to reducing inflammation and promoting better health. A glass of cherry juice each day can help diminish pain and inflammation while supplying essential nutrients to the body. However, seniors should be cautious about the natural sugar content in cherry juice, as it may affect blood sugar management, especially for those with diabetes or weight management concerns. Now let's dive into the world of refreshing citrus-infused hydration. Six. Lemon water. Lemon water boasts a rich composition of nutrients that contribute to its anti-inflammatory prowess. Primarily, it is a potent source of vitamin C, with an average lemon containing approximately 30 mg of this immune-boosting vitamin. Additionally, the citric acid found in lemon serves as a natural antioxidant, scavenging harmful free radicals in the body. Inflammation can wreak havoc on the body, especially as we age, but there are two lesser-known benefits of lemon water that can help alleviate this issue. Firstly, lemon water is packed with antioxidants like vitamin C, which not only boost the immune system but also fight inflammation. Sipping on warm lemon water daily can provide a gentle yet effective way to reduce inflammation throughout the body. Secondly, lemon water promotes hydration, which is essential for maintaining proper bodily functions and flushing out toxins that contribute to inflammation. For older adults, who may struggle with staying hydrated, adding lemon to their water can make it more enticing to drink. To incorporate lemon water into their routine, suggest starting the day with a glass of warm lemon water before breakfast. Simply squeeze the juice of half a lemon into a cup of warm water and drink it slowly. As for dosage, one to two glasses per day should suffice, but individuals can adjust according to their preference and tolerance. However, it's essential to note that lemon water, while generally safe, can erode tooth enamel if consumed excessively or if one has sensitive teeth. Therefore, advise rinsing the mouth with plain water after drinking lemon water and to avoid brushing teeth immediately to prevent damage. Now, onto the vibrant concoction famed for its rich hue and earthy flavor. 7. Beet Juice Beet juice is a potent ally against inflammation offering numerous benefits that many are unaware of, especially for older adults seeking natural remedies at home. Firstly, beet juice contains betalanes, 
compounds with powerful anti-inflammatory properties that can help alleviate joint pain and stiffness associated with conditions like arthritis. Consuming around 8 to 16 ounces of beet juice daily can effectively reduce inflammation markers in the body. Secondly, beet juice is rich in nitrates, which the body converts into nitric oxide, a molecule known for its vasodilatory effects, widening blood vessels and improving blood flow. This enhanced circulation can reduce inflammation by delivering more oxygen and nutrients to inflamed tissues while aiding in the removal of waste products. For older adults, incorporating beet juice into their daily routine can be highly beneficial. It's important, however, to be mindful of potential side effects such as temporary changes in urine color or gastrointestinal discomfort, particularly if consuming large amounts initially. It's advisable to start with smaller doses and gradually increase intake while monitoring how the body responds. Now, imagine starting your day with a vibrant blend of leafy greens, fruits, and nutrient-packed goodness. 8. Green Smoothie A green smoothie is a beverage typically made by blending together various green vegetables, such as spinach, kale, or cucumber, with fruits like bananas or apples, and a liquid base such as water, coconut water, or almond milk. It's often enjoyed as a nutritious and refreshing way to consume a variety of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. A typical green smoothie might contain around 2 cups of leafy greens like spinach or kale, providing a whopping 200-300% to of your daily vitamin K needs. Vitamin K plays a crucial role in reducing inflammation by regulating inflammatory markers in the body. Moreover, a single serving can offer up to 100-200% to of your daily vitamin C requirement, thanks to ingredients like citrus fruits or berries. Vitamin C acts as a potent antioxidant, combating oxidative stress and inflammation. But the real star here is the omega-3 fatty acids found abundantly in ingredients like chia seeds or flax seeds. Just one tablespoon can supply over 100% of your daily omega-3 needs, effectively dampening inflammation at the cellular level. Now let's shift our focus to a refreshing beverage often associated with tropical locales. 9. Coconut Water Studies have revealed that coconut water contains high levels of potassium, magnesium, and cytokinins. These nutrients play pivotal roles in combating inflammation within the body. Potassium regulates fluid balance, thereby reducing swelling and inflammation, while magnesium acts as a natural muscle relaxant, easing tension and discomfort. Moreover, cytokinins, Plant hormones abundant in coconut water exhibit potent anti-inflammatory effects. These compounds help regulate cell division and promote tissue repair, mitigating the inflammatory response. Remarkably, just one cup of coconut water boasts approximately 600 mg of potassium, making it an excellent natural source of this essential nutrient. Additionally, it contains around 60 mg of magnesium per cup, further enhancing its anti-inflammatory prowess. To maximize the benefits, opt for natural, unsweetened coconut water to avoid added sugars that may exacerbate inflammation. Additionally, consider blending coconut water into smoothies or incorporating it into fruit salads for a refreshing and nutritious treat. However, individuals with kidney issues should exercise caution due to its potassium content, consulting with a healthcare professional for personalized guidance. Transitioning to the liquid element, what are some vital properties of this essential substance for life? 10. Water Water is often hailed as the elixir of life, but recent research unveils a lesser-known aspect of its prowess, its anti-inflammatory properties. Beyond mere hydration, water contains crucial nutrients that play a pivotal role in combating inflammation, a key driver of various chronic diseases. Let's dive into the numbers. A typical 8-ounce glass of water contains around 0 calories, 0 grams of fat, 0 grams of sugar, and 0 grams of carbohydrates. However, its true power lies in its mineral content. Water from natural sources like springs or mineral-rich regions can contain significant amounts of minerals such as magnesium, calcium, and potassium. These minerals act as electrolytes, aiding in nerve function, 
muscle contraction, and maintaining fluid balance in the body. But what about inflammation? Studies have shown that magnesium, in particular, plays a crucial role in reducing inflammation by inhibiting pro-inflammatory cytokines. Additionally, calcium regulates the inflammatory response by modulating the activity of certain immune cells. Potassium, another essential mineral found in water, helps regulate fluid balance and muscle contractions. It also aids in reducing blood pressure, thereby indirectly reducing inflammation associated with hypertension. In essence, water isn't just a hydrating agent, it's a nutritional powerhouse that can help quell inflammation in the body. By incorporating mineral-rich water into your daily routine, you're not just staying hydrated, you're also giving your body the tools it needs to fight inflammation and promote overall health. If you find the information helpful, don't forget to subscribe. It greatly motivates me. Thank you very much. Do you know any other drinks that are effective in fighting inflammation? What are you currently drinking? Share with us in the comments below this video. At the end of this video and in the description below, we've provided three related videos to give you a comprehensive view of health, especially if you're elderly. In conclusion, neglecting the incorporation of the top 10 simple anti-inflammatory drinks that are effective into your daily routine could have dire consequences for your overall well-being. Chronic inflammation is a silent threat that lurks beneath the surface, contributing to various health issues, from minor discomfort to severe conditions. By dismissing these powerful and natural remedies, one risks missing out on the opportunity to combat inflammation at its root and promote a healthier, more resilient body. The consequences of ignoring these anti-inflammatory drinks extend beyond mere physical discomfort, they can impact the quality of life, hinder productivity, and potentially lead to more serious health complications in the long run. Incorporating these beverages into your lifestyle not only serves as a proactive measure against inflammation but also empowers you to take control of your health.